If every single time a mother neglected a child, an endangered fucking gorilla died, fucking the gor gorillas would have been endangered by the time I was fucking five years old. Actually, they would have been extinct by the time I was fucking five years old. Seriously, you're gonna bl you're gonna blame a mother neglecting her child on the death of that gorilla? Seriously? But does the man who shot that fucking gorilla dead with a gun doesn't hold any fucking responsibility? The zoo that captured and enslaved that gorilla, maybe not that particular gorilla, zoos are there primarily for entertaining and making profit from the capture and enslavement of innocent fucking wild animals. Okay, the reason the children aren't being torn apart by gorillas, and apparently gorillas don't tear apart children but that's not the point the point is we have a natural fear of large potentially dangerous animals for good reason too because we don't want to have our kids torn apart there's not gorillas roaming around the fucking streets gorillas don't just gorillas don't just roam around the fucking streets they're brought to our communities by zoos zoos capture and enslave what large wild fucking animals they bring them to the cities they put them in fucking zoos in cages in enclosures. Do you seriously think that this woman thought to herself, if I take my son to this zoo today and I let go of his hand for one second, somebody else is going to shoot this fucking gorilla dead? No, I don't think so. A lot of people are blaming this mother's neglect for the death of this gorilla and that is just absolutely insane. Okay. The zoo brings large, potentially dangerous animals into our city. They enslave them, put them in enclosures. Then they encourage us to come see them. They normalize this. This mother had no idea gonna be in a potentially life-threatening situation if she let go of her son's hand for a couple of seconds or fucking stopped to take take a Snapchat. As parents, we all, we all make mistakes. Even if she was neglectful, what about the zoo's responsibility? If they are gonna encourage us to come and tell us that it's fucking safe, isn't it their responsibility to provide safe enclosures so kids can't fucking climb over the fence? Shouldn't they provide education for their employees? Education enough to know that it's a lowland fucking gorilla and it's not gonna actually kill the fucking child. It's actually protecting the child. No need to blow its fucking head off. If you eat meat, or you consume meat and dairy, or you just don't give a fuck about whatever's going on on this planet, and that's sort of my message to you. It's like, basically what I'm saying is, what's wrong with killing a fucking gorilla? What, it doesn't taste good enough for you? You can't fucking eat it? Or maybe you didn't get the opportunity to eat it, like you do with the fucking other animals that you fucking murder and kill. My next message is to the vegans the vegans out there. I'm a vegan myself and the title of this video is why I'm no longer vegan. That's not completely true. I'm still, I still got the core values of a vegan but at the moment I'm just a little bit disillusioned with how the vegan community has reacted to this. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you guys, you guys want revenge. This isn't about what actually happened. This is about a fucking negligent mother, neg negligent meat eater that allowed her child to do something that caused the death of a fucking gorilla, okay? And we all know that's not true. I see on fucking Facebook these memes saying, I don't know why they shot me, I was taking, care I was taking better care of this child than a his mother. Vegans saying, this fucking gorilla got killed because this mother was negligent. I don't know if you know this, but posts like that destroy people's lives. 
okay? If you destroy this mother's life, you're gonna destroy this child's life, okay? Now, I'm not just fucking exaggerating. This, I feel, will literally destroy her life. She might lose her job, therefore losing her house. I don't know, her husband might fucking cop some abuse, might lose his job. Man, shit's gonna get crazy for this bitch. Why? Because she was just as negligent as fucking any other mother's ever fucking been? Because she was just as negligent as my mother? <sighs> Does my mother now deserve to fucking get her life ruined because she neglected me? No, why? Because there wasn't a fucking gorilla and there wasn't in, a, an endangered fucking gorilla standing around and the gorilla didn't fucking grab me when she let go of my fucking hand for two seconds because endangered fucking gorillas or gorillas or lions large potentially fucking dangerous animals don't just cruise around the fucking streets okay as vegans okay i'm getting a bit as vegans we're meant to be compassionate right as vegans we're supposed to understand and most vegans weren't vegans for the from the fucking day they were born okay they become vegans later we were stupid we were fucking ignorant and when we became vegan, the vegan community took us in and said, you know what, you were stupid, but now you're enlightened, in you come. You know, you can join our community, we can all fucking love each other, everything's great. You didn't say, you're a fucking idiot, you might have neglected your children, you abused animals, so now we're gonna fucking ruin your life. You know, you didn't do that. I don't mind fucking revving people up online, I don't mind fucking calling them ignorant cunts, I don't mind fucking getting stuck right into them and arguing with them. And even saying, I want to fucking, you know, bash your head in or whatever. Right? But this, you've taken this too far. You've taken this too far. I think that I'm not really, at the moment with this situation, I see, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not proud to be a fucking vegan. I'm not, I'm not going to call myself a fucking vegan anymore. I'm, I'm no longer going to identify with that word. Yeah, so, I don't know, what do you guys think about this gorilla thing? It's made me really fucking upset. Um, I, you know, I get upset when this sort of shit happens because fucking majority of, 99% of the population don't understand, they're fucking stupid. But I thought there was 1% of people that I was, I, I belong to that actually understood, but... <laughs> Obviously I was fucking wrong. Who fucking knows? My core message in this video is we need to have compassion. If we have compassion for one person, we need to have compassion for another person. If we have one compassion for one animal, we need to have compassion for an, another animal, no, no matter what mistakes they make. Okay, self-preservation is different, self-defense is different. But that's not what this is, this is fucking revenge. And I'm not down for a fucking bloodthirsty fucking mob fucking bloody fucking revenge. That's all this is, so I'm not down for it. I've already ended the video, I already ended the video, yeah. Subscribe to me, please. Um, if you're like a babbling, fucking crazy, upset, full, fucking ranting, <laughs> subscribe to me, because I'm the best at that. Comment, uh, thumbs up to this video, or thumbs down, do something, and <sighs> go on a plant-based diet and don't be a fucking cunt.